What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mello. Oh! And let's get into this movie reaction. Wow, look at all those brainwashed people living those boring lives. Well, you better be careful. I hate when that happens. <laughs> oh, and then that's when they move quick and you just look stupid. <laughs> Come on, Napoleon Dynamite. What the hell are you doing? And if you this motherfucker to the test, you had to turn the music down when it came to the N word. Oh, this man talking to himself? Oh, hell no. Damn, that sign looks so damn bland, man. <laughs> I know that job is boring as hell. <laughs> I guess that happens to him every morning. I think if you pick your feet up, you probably wouldn't be having static shock when you try to open the door. Scraping against that damn carpet. Corporate accounts payable, Nina speaking. Just a moment. <laughs> Corporate accounts payable, Nina speaking. Just a moment. Yeah, you apparently didn't put one of the new cover sheets on your TPS reports. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry about that. I, I forgot. Mm, yeah. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the <laughs> memo right here. I just uh, forgot. Yeah. I'll go ahead and make sure you get another copy of that memo. Okay? Yeah, no, I, bye I, bye, I, I have the memo. I've got it. It's right. Oh, oh man. <laughs> giving me PTSD, man. <laughs> Could you turn that down just a little bit? But I, I was told that I could listen to the radio at a reasonable volume. If if Sandra's going to listen to her headphones while she's falling, then I should be able to listen to the radio while I'm collating. Uh -huh. So I don't see why okay. I should have to turn down the radio. Because yeah, all right. Okay. Well, she has headphones. Man, you sound like one of them aliens off of Galaxy Quest. The cover sheet, I know. Yeah. Did you get that memo? Yeah, I got the memo. It's just we're putting new cover sheets on all the TPS reports before <laughs> they go out now, so if you could go ahead and try to remember to do that from now on. Bruh, I don't give a damn. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Peter Gibbons, I have the memo. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Sam Iyer... Na... Naga... No. Uh -huh. No one in this country can ever pronounce my name right. Hey, it's, it's not that hard. Naina Najad. Na Naiga Najad. Naiga Najad? Wanna go to Chachkis? Get some coffee? Oh, it's a little early. I, mean, I gotta get out of here. I think I'm gonna lose it. Sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. <laughs> oh my god. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> one of these days, it's just gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> so can I get you gentlemen something more to drink or maybe something to nibble on? Nah, since you did that smart ass okay. move, get the fuck up my like face. Sounds like a case of the Mondays. <laughs> oh, there she is. Oh, I didn't know she was in this movie. Look, why don't you just tell Anne that you're not in hypnosis and you want to play poker with us? I can't do that. I think that the guy might actually be able to help. I mean, he did help Anne lose weight. Peter, she's anorexic. Yeah, I know. The guy's really good. <laughs> What's this I hear about you having problems with your TPS reports? Yeah, didn't you get that memo? I'm gonna slap the next person who That's says the word memo. And you can make millions, never have to work again. You think the pet rock was a really great idea? The He's guy a made a million dollars. I had an idea like that once. Really, what was it, Tom? You see, it would be this map and would have different conclusions written on it that you could <laughs> jump to. That is the worst idea I've ever heard in my life, Tom. Yes. yes. That shit is fucking corny, man. But I can really see people buying that, though. That's what makes it so funny. Guidance counselor used to ask us what you would do if you had a million dollars. Didn't have to work. 
PC load letter? What the fuck does that mean? Hey, don't be damaging co company property, man. <laughs> Damn, even that apartment looks sad. <laughs> when you come in on Monday and you're not feeling real well, does anyone ever say to you, sounds like someone has a case of the Mondays? No. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> I believe you get your ass kicked saying something like that, man. <laughs> we still Me going too. fishing this weekend? What would you do if you had a million dollars? Two chicks at the same time, man. <laughs> <laughs> you dead ass serious. That's it? <laughs> oh, and remember, next Friday is Hawaiian shirt day. So, you know, if you want to, go ahead and uh, wear a Hawaiian shirt and jeans. But I, I said, I, I don't <laughs> care if they lay me off either. Don't give a damn about no Hawaiian shirt. They've moved my desk four times already this year, and I used to be over by the window, and I could see the squirrels, and they were married. But then they switched from the swing line to the Boston stapler, but I kept my swing line stapler because... Okay, Milton. And, oh, no, it's not okay. <laughs> what because the hell is this man me, talking about? If they, if they take my... Sounds great. Uh, I, I'll talk to you I, later, I, all right? Bye. Oh, he was on the phone with him. <laughs> Dang, that's crazy. This came out the same year as The Matrix. I, I'm getting like Matrix vibes with him in this cubicle. And he has like the same haircut as Keanu Reeves. The damn Windows 95, man. Take years to load. Oh, for crap. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and come in tomorrow. So if you could be here around Nine, that would be great. I'm also gonna need you to go ahead and come in on Sunday, too. Why me? Ever since I started working, every single day of my life has been worse than the day before it. So that means that every single day that you see me, that's on the worst day of my life. Wow, that's messed up. <laughs> Man, look at that toupee. <laughs> hey, that you could just zonk me out so that, like, I, I don't know that I'm at work. I want you to do something for me, Peter. You're beginning to feel your eyelids getting heavy as you slip deeper and deeper into a state of complete relaxation. All your cares and concerns are disappearing deeper and deeper, way, way down. <laughs> what the hell? Three, two, one. <clears throat> Oh my goodness, do not tell me this man had a heart attack or something. Seemed like he did what he asked him to do at the beginning of the session. Yeah, hi, it's Bill Lumberg. It's about 10 o'clock. Yeah, just uh, wondering where you are. Uh, yeah. If you could just go ahead and get here as soon as possible, that would be terrific. Shoot, this man got that way of thinking. Hakuna Matata, you feel me? Yeah, hi, it's Bill Lum. Yeah, it's. Yeah, hi, it's Bill Lumber. Yeah, it's me again. Uh, I was yeah. away from my desk for a minute. Peter, what's gotten into you? First, you just sit there while Dr. Swanson dies. Then you just walk out of the car and embarrass me in front of my friends. And don't blame this on hypnosis either. That's total bull. Oh, and one more thing I've been cheating on you! Damn, screaming so hard the answering machine was shaking. Hakuna Matata, bitch. What are you doing for lunch today? Uh, well, our specials today are blackened chicken, and it's actually right there on the board. Excuse me. Do I'm gonna go next door and get a table, and if you'd like to join me, uh, no big deal, all right? And if not, that's cool too, okay? Okay. Oh, all right. Okay, the boy gets smooth, all right? When you say uh, next door, do you mean uh, chilies or, or flingers? Flingers. Oh, yeah, she definitely come if she asks which one it what is. What you do in any <laughs> Well, look, I already told you. I deal with the goddamn customers so the engineers don't have to. I have people skills. I am good at dealing with people. Can't you understand that? What the hell is wrong with you people? <laughs> the man who said he can deal with people is asking, what the hell's wrong with you people? Okay. <laughs> you are Michael Bolton? Is that your real name? Yeah. Are you any relation to the pop singer? <laughs> no, it's it's just a coincidence. Hi. Hey. 
Man, stand up, man. You being rude. I'm allowed to uh, wear this in here. <laughs> A woman as beautiful as that, I would have stood up, pulled her chair and everything, you feel me? I mean, I understand you gotta play it suave and stuff, and not try to seem like you desperate or whatever. You, you can't be too cool. What's a piece of flair? You know, like the these suspenders and uh, buttons are all sort of, we're, we're actually required to wear um, 15 pieces of flair. Uh, so I go through these thousands of lines of code and, uh, it doesn't really matter. I, uh, I don't like my job. I don't think I'm gonna go anymore. So you're gonna quit? I'm just gonna stop going. <laughs> <laughs> um, when did you decide I, I, I all that? <laughs> being real bold right here. I don't know about job? that. You ever watch Kung Fu? I love Kung Fu. Hell yeah, we'll do some okay. Kung Fu. Can we watch lunch first? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Damn, she got serious when he brought up Kung Fu. Oh my God. I took a stapler off my desk. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to ask you to go ahead and move your desk again. So, but no. if you could go ahead and get it as far back against that wall as possible, that would be great. No, no, because I was. That I was way we'll have some room for no some of these to move boxes and things we need to put in here. <laughs> I set the building on fire. Hey, both of their performances are pretty cool in this movie. Yeah, you were supposed to come in on Saturday. What were you doing? Michael, I did absolutely nothing, and it was everything that I thought it could be. I'm Bob Slidell. This is my associate, Bob Porter. Oh, hi, Bob. Bob, would you walk us through a typical day for you? Oh, this is some nice camera moving right yeah, here. Yeah, I'd say in a given week, I probably only do about 15 minutes of real, actual work. So how long is your shift? Let me tell you something about TPS reports. Uh, <laughs> the pleasure's all on this side of the table, trust me. Good luck with your layoffs, all right? I hope your firings go really well. Okay, excellent, great. <laughs> wow. Damn, they loved his interview. It was different from everybody else. Everybody's so stressed Listen. and stuff. <laughs> I, I have 15 pieces on. Okay, 15 is the minimum. Well, like Brian, for example, has 37 pieces of... <laughs> why? And why are you coming up to her about this? Why does it even matter? We want you to express yourself, okay? Now, if you feel that the bare minimum is enough, then okay. But some people choose to wear more, and we encourage that, okay? All right, thank you for the pointless talk. You, you just wasted yourself, my time. Okay? <laughs> you know, squirrely looking guy, mumbles a lot. Oh, yeah. I looked into it more deeply, and I found that apparently what happened is that he was laid off five years ago, and no one ever told him about it. But through some kind of glitch in the payroll department, he still gets a paycheck. So he won't be receiving a paycheck anymore, so it'll just work itself out naturally. So Problem basically, he's going to be working and not getting paid. <laughs> yeah, about that? This man, now, shoot the place up. Huh? So let me ask you a real quick question here. How much time would you say you spend each week dealing with these TPS reports? Damn, they questioning him now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a big one. Okay. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Right. Damn, it <laughs> this man doing this at work. Got him a nice little sunburn, too. Damn, on the TPS reports. <laughs> Boy said, fuck them TPS reports. I, I didn't receive my paycheck this week. Um, you're gonna have to talk to payroll about that. I did, and, and they said, Mel, that we're gonna need to go ahead and move you downstairs into storage B. No, you can get. but there's no space. So if you could <laughs> just go ahead and you pack up your stuff and move it down there, but no, that would be terrific. I, I, I was told okay. I, could, I hope they'll tell us like why they are keeping this I man. I say I've been missing it. <laughs> and having him thinking he's still working. <laughs> Good one. We're gonna be getting rid of these people here. Uh, first, Mr. Samir Naga. Like, uh, not gonna work here anymore anyway. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> hey, hey, that's messed up though. You're gonna lay off Samir and Michael. <laughs> we find it's always better to fire people on a Friday. That's what I need. Let's do that. Let's do exactly that, you little fuck. Michael, hey. All right, I know you had this religious experience or whatever the hell that was, but you better snap out of it and get your shit together. You're gonna get canned. <laughs> Talking about the one who got fired. Human beings were not meant to sit in little cubicles staring at computer screens all day. 
filling out useless forms and listening to eight different bosses drone on about mission statements. Preach! But you take a few thousand withdrawals a day, you space it out over a couple of years, that's a few hundred thousand dollars. It's like Superman 3. Superman 3? What? Hey, hey any chance you can get your to ready for get what? some free for money? Job where they can hey, just take fire it. you for no reason? <laughs> That's right. In in these conjugal visits, you can have sex with women. Yep, you sure can. What? That's what, what I'm talking about. What? what? Talk about <laughs> we have to swear to God, Allah, that nobody knows about this but us. All right? Don't worry, man. I won't tell anyone either. What the fuck is that? No, don't worry about him. He's cool. All right. <laughs> it makes me wonder. <laughs> Yo, I'm really liking how they shoot in this scene right here. This is fire. I'm liking the soundtrack in this movie too. It's catching me off guard. I didn't know they was gonna have music like this. Easy, but it's necessary. So I'm chasing bitches like Tom Chase Jerry. Dude looking like an FBI agent right there. <laughs> well, that was easy. Yeah, I guess it was. Do you guys hear about Tom Spikowski? He goes home and tries to kill himself by running the car in the garage. You okay, Tom? Then as he's yeah. looking at her, yeah. he decides he wants to live. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm okay. Yeah, this is the love of his yeah. life, of course. Now. But then as soon as he backs out of his driveway. Yeah. Oh, shit! Sam, big time by a drunk driver. But check it out, he's gonna get a huge settlement out of this, like seven figures. Let's get Dang. out of the hospital tomorrow. Yeah. Hopefully he won't night. be paralyzed, though. Things go well, I might be showing her my O face. Oh, oh, oh. You know what I'm talking about. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Get your corny ass on somewhere. See you guys there. Uh oh, here go that iconic scene. Ha <laughs> ha. Boy, get that high kick. The boy came in there smooth, like, yeah, I got this, bro. I know for people who have jobs like this, this was hitting real close to home, this whole film. <laughs> this man is coming out with the hands. He like, man, fuck this printer or a copier, whatever it is. Damn, man. <laughs> He's like, hell, I'm about to whoop this ass. <laughs> So, you know, one thing about Office Space is like, I've seen that famous scene, but I've never seen the full movie. And every acting class I've been to, they've always had an Office Space poster on the wall. <laughs> and I just, I still was never really motivated or interested in watching the film. But this movie is actually pretty good. So you're stealing? No, no, you don't understand. So you're gonna make a lot of money, right? That's not yours? Uh, well, it, it becomes ours. How is that not stealing? <laughs> I'm just talking about fractions of a penny here, okay? And we do it a couple of million times. Doesn't it bother you that you have to get up in the morning and you have to put on a bunch of pieces of flair? Yeah, but I'm not about to go in and start taking money from the register. You know, the Nazis had pieces of flair. Uh... They made the what? We don't have to talk about this now. Let's, let's just go to the barbecue, all right? Okay. Oh, man, I don't know about that. <laughs> Michael! Forgive me for not getting up. <laughs> <laughs> He's happy about that money, man. <laughs> well, what do you think? It's a prototype. That's exactly as you described it. What type of conclusions are those? But I bet I hated my job even more than you. If you hang in there long enough, good things can happen in this world. I mean, look at me. <laughs> that boy Tom. real happy about that money don't you get the severance paid too so that adds on to that hell yeah <laughs> isn't that the girl that works over at tchotchkes yeah she's with me really yeah all right peter <laughs> right <on. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah don't get and your ass rubber with. dude she gets around all right what like a record and where did you hear like this with who Lumberg fucked her. Ah! Lumberg. Peter, what is wrong with you? That was like two years ago. But did you know him? He's my boss. That is none of your business, okay? I didn't ask you who you slept with before we were together. I don't care. 
I'm leaning more on her side, so I'm I'm gonna go over to the passenger. <laughs> kind of like angel here? No, you're just this penny stealing wannabe criminal man. Come on, man, that was two years ago. Now, if Hell, if it was her, true her, that she really her, was her. sleeping around her. and she is easy, then I'll have a problem with it. I mean, she was seeing the other for sure. <laughs> oh, oh. Peter, what's happening? Uh, could you give me those TPS reports ASAP? Okay. <laughs> Boy, getting in them guts. He still wants them TPS reports. <laughs> Drinking some coffee too. Trying to make sure he get that energy. You feel me? <laughs> Why don't you just make the minimum 37 pieces of flair? Well, I thought I remembered you saying that you wanted to express yourself. Okay, then I don't need 37 pieces of flair to do it. <laughs> right? There's my flare. The biggest okay? piece of flare. And this is me. Oh. oh shit. Oh, shit. Damn, shit. they took out more than they shit. thought. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Bitch, shit. They probably won't know it's, it's gone for another three or four days. Put a decimal point in the wrong place or something. Shit, I always do that. I always mess up some mundane detail. Oh! Well, Damn, no wonder you get fired. Detail, Michael. Hey, quit <laughs> getting pissed at me, all right? This is all your idea, asshole. What? That still doesn't cover the fact that you fucked up. Happy birthday to you. Damn, they all sound like Happy zombies. Happy birthday, dear <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Now, Milton. Yeah. Don't be greedy. Let's pass it along and make sure everyone gets a piece. Okay, but last time I didn't receive a piece, and I was told that just I just pass. Why the hell can I just not get a piece? Why do I have to pass it? Why can't people just come up and get a piece? That's just dirty. They're doing this man all kinds of wrong. Maybe we could launder the money. That's a great idea. Okay, how do we do that? I don't know. I don't, know. I don't even know what it means. I was hoping you knew. I think. All right, all right. Man, you just need to shut the fuck up. We know any coke up. dealers. <laughs> my, my cousin's a cokehead. We need the upstairs right away. We got a big problem. Big. Some major glitch in accounting. A lot of money missing. Damn, they found out sooner than they thought too. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> Can they turn the lights off on this man? Oh my! I feel so bad okay. for him. That's the last straw. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> this boy got to come in. Wonder. Oh, hell no. Nah, that's messed up. I can't believe what a bunch of nerds we are. We're looking up money laundering in a dictionary. I can't believe Joanna slept with Lumberg. That's what I can't believe. Hey, yeah, you didn't know that? Yeah. You didn't know that? A couple Damn. years ago before he moved to Atlanta. You mean Ron Lumberg? The, the inner throat guy? The young guy? Yeah, who'd you think I meant, Bill? <laughs> Good evening, sir. My name is Steve. I come from a rough area. <laughs> I used to be addicted to crap, but now I'm off and trying to stay clean. Okay. That is why I'm selling magazine subscriptions. No. And I was hoping you <laughs> would help wait, me wait, out. You used to be addicted to crack? I'm very sorry. I do not know anything about any money laundering. No, 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 no we're, not, we're not asking you about money laundering. All we need is for you to hook us up with a great... He doesn't know anybody wants dude, to hook us up with. No, 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 I don't know why he don't really be look, look, in films uh, like that anymore. You just give us the name he of one. He is hilarious. Thing. I mean, I could talk to him. I love the movie with him and All Eddie Griffin. All the stuff I said about being a crackhead just helps me sell magazines. I'm actually an unemployed software engineer. Wait a minute. You're, you're not going to tell anybody about all this stuff we told you. I mean, that all depends. What am I going to do with 40 subscriptions to Vibe? Dude, really hustled y'all. Lawrence, you awake? You wanna come over? No thanks, man. I don't want you fucking up my life too. <laughs> hey, it's like that, man. I hereby sentence you, Michael Bolton, and Samir Nunn, and not at your bad, to a term of no less than four years in a federal pound me in the ass prison. Damn, he descriptive with it. Oh, he was in Spider-Man. Hey. Oh, you work next door now? That's what's up. You're not working at Chotsky's anymore, huh? You were right about that computer scam. That was a bad idea. I'm gonna take the blame for it, I decided. Whoa, hey, what's going on here? Get a room, you two. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna whoop your ass. Dude, just corny 24-7. I think that other guy probably about to blow this building up. Yeah. 
rethought that shit. Yeah, I ain't going to jail. <laughs> told me to talk to Mr. Lumberg, and I, I still haven't received my paycheck, and he took my stapler, and he never brought it back, and then they moved my desk to storage room D, and there was garbage on it, and um, I don't well, appreciate it. Why, why don't you go back down and I, sit at your desk? Mr. Lumberg should be here I'm any talking minute. To Mr. Lumberg. Wait, just go sit it, at your desk, but, okay? Okay, but I... That man has had it. The approach of that man has went with this character is very interesting. And I know that it was like a big inspiration as well from the director. Hey, Peter. Yeah. Watch out for your cornhole, bud. Okay, I appreciate nice. that, man. Thank you. Oh, he did it. I've heard a lot of like skits and stuff on YouTube and stuff where they'll have people at jobs like this. And they'll have people talk about they got to come in and shoot the place up or blow it up or something. I don't know if this movie like inspired that or if it was something else. And I don't know if people in real life actually did this. I'm guessing they probably have. I think I know someone who might want this. Oh, so now you're a construction worker? Okay. I think that might be a more uh, adventurous job for you. How'd you like your new job? It's not too bad. Not too bad. How's uh, Penetrode? Intertrode. Intertrode. Hey, right. It's work. Why would I go from one cubicle job to another? Come on, man. Y'all know I was depressed in that job. Making bucks, getting exercise, working outside. Fucking A. Hell yeah. Fucking A. Excuse me, senor. I asked for a Mai Tai, and they brought me a pina colada. And I said, no salt. No salt for the margarita, but it had salt on it. Let's There's big grains of salt on Los Dientos, but that was again. I won't be leaving a tip. <laughs> hey, bro, you better pay attention to that, man. I can shut this whole resort down. <laughs> Sir? I could write a letter to your board of tourism, and I could have this place condemned. I could put strychnine in the guacamole. Bro, you gotta be worried about that man right there. <laughs> you gotta put that man down. So I'm guessing he found the letter on the ground before he burnt the place to the ground and took the money. Give a ride on the old bone roller coaster. Ah! Hey, don't come back in the dress, man. <laughs> I'm working at Hooters now, you know, and it's very cool. Okay, hey, I can see that. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> don't do that <laughs> all right everybody and that was office space it was a pretty chill movie it wasn't as funny as i thought it was going to be maybe that's because i didn't really get all the jokes because i didn't fully relate to the film like that but i still enjoyed the movie this is a very well done film i liked how it was directed i liked the soundtrack in the movie the performances in this film were surprising as well. Seemed like a lot of the actors had good chemistry amongst each other. You know, this is just one of those chill movies that the 90s and the early 2000s would bring out. Just those cool films that was pretty cheesy or something that you could just vibe to and have a good time. You know, it wasn't super serious or took itself super serious like a lot of movies nowadays do. And it's just one of those movies that you feel good after you watched it and you could honestly like rewind it and watch it again. I, I, I'm like thinking of a lot of memories I have as a kid watching a lot of 90s movies and early 2000s movies and just having a good time. And that's one of the things that I really like about this movie right here. I would give this movie a seven B plus because even though I like this movie here, it, it wasn't really that funny to me like I was hoping it was going to be, or it was the jokes were very few far in between each other and stuff, but I still enjoyed the story along with this movie. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not shitting on the film or none of that. Everybody has their own opinion. I know some people probably cry laughing throughout this whole movie while some people like me they just probably laugh at some of the jokes here and there and they just enjoy the film anyway <laughs> but I cannot wait to hear your thoughts when it comes to this movie you know please like share comment down below and subscribe that definitely helps the channel grow and the video grow you know I don't really say this a lot but make sure you hit the bell <laughs> you hit the bell turn on the post notifications man so you'll know when I post a video. 
Okay, I try not to be like one of those type of YouTubers that try to jam all that stuff down your throat and stuff, because I know y'all hear that every video, but I'm just saying. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links will be in the description. I'm trying to get more active on Twitter. I really like interacting with all y'all and just talking about a lot of different stuff, you know, movies, games, sports, memes. Hey, with all that being said, I'll see you on the next one, all right? Peace.